bad customer service news. <laughs> Submitted by Say Something in Spanish, please. Puto! Por favor. Oh, well, yeah. That's, that's completely that's different. Por favor. How, do you, how do you say something in Spanish? Algo. There's Algo. No. Como se dice. Como se dice. I just do that forever. Yeah. <laughs> how do you say. Eh, eh, eh. That's what I say. <laughs> a United Airlines worker taunted a customer named William Dix. Who is now suing the company? Well, that's your fault for having that name. Come on. Now. I believe it. William Dix. Bill Dix. Willie Dix. Oh. They they mocked him. Yeah. This. This makes me want to use their service more, actually. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because that name's pretty funny. That's for you now. I'd make fun. His name's William Dix. It's like, hi, I'm Lauren McFishtits, and it's like, <laughs> you're not supposed to address that. It's like, oh, hello, Miss <laughs> uh, Miss Miss uh, Fish Tits. <laughs> Here's your ticket. Like. Well, it's just like Cox, like. Yeah. Cox is not. Well, you Was wouldn't make fun of someone that. Yes, I would. Did you? You didn't Courtney go to my Cox? high school. Yeah, we made fun of Courtney Cox. Cox TV. Uh, she sounds like a porn Cable star. Cable. She looked like a porn star. We made fun of Cox Cable. Yes, you're you're, you're speaking my language exactly. <laughs> that's dumb. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying it's intelligent. You're I'm saying five. that's what we did. Dick is nicknamed Richard. for Richard. Oh, Richard. Yeah. So if it was so Richard, Richard Dicks, Dicks, it's Dick Dick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dick Dick. Nick Nick. My grandpa's name. His first name is Willie. Willie. Oh yeah. Willie Dick. Yeah. His middle initials J. Willie. How are they harassing him? Though? See, I like it when companies are people too. I like that shit. Yeah. And not well, fake people too. You know? I don't know if it was really like in the sense that you're you're talking about where it's like hilarious and make make fun of this. It was more like he was crying. He <laughs> called a customer service a uh, representative, United Airlines representative, to find out information about his flight, and he was on the phone with him for 48 minutes. And apparently he was utterly humiliated by those 48 minutes of unsolicited sex talk by the, the rep. What do you do, so, fucking phone sex him? 48 minutes? That's a long yeah, freaking call. So apparently- That's too long of a joke, bro. It's not even funny at that point. Apparently this uh, representative was asking questions like, are you alone? Uh, what would you do to me if we were alone together? What? Oh, do you use protection far. with your girlfriend? Did, did she have a sexy voice though? Uh, apparently it was a man. Well, did he actually call United or was this like a hot sex hotline? Yeah, was I it? I think we need to double check like, the facts real quick. United XXX. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you called the wrong number. Because he ended up giving, finally after 48 minutes, he gave him information that he needed for his flight, but then he said that he felt so humiliated after that conversation that he felt the need to sue. And so now but it's recorded, right? Those conversations yeah. may be recorded for Maybe. quality assurance purposes. What is he suing for, though? Like he got like a, to get stuff. his his forty eight minutes back, you know, like sexual harassment. Like wh how, what, what kind of price? Do you he put felt in? humiliated, yeah. just humiliated. I always love minutes. when grown men say this shit. That also, you know, that's why I thought this story was so funny because he also said that the embarrassing phone call caused his emotional well-being and sense of self-worth to suffer, which led him to break up with his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, this is God, great. He was phone raped. Oh, this guy is great. He was Sorry. looking for he a reason to break up with his girlfriend. Totally. <laughs> or what really happened was he realized that the man turned him on and he's actually gay and he's like, I'm I shouldn't be in this relationship. Oh yeah, because you know, like those homophobes get like really aggressive when they're like, no, I'm gonna kill you. He turned me but gay. I don't want to kiss you. That's right. Yeah, and so uh, he's suing for invasion of privacy. I don't think he should sue. He should pay him for a good time. He just gave him a 48 hour sex talk. Minute. Yeah. 48 hour, god <laughs> damn, bro. Yeah. 48 minutes. Can I ask also why he stayed on the fucking phone? If his, right? his, yeah. his emotional so fucking, uh, you know, well being is being challenged so hard. Yeah, I mean, you like, can say, hey, click, let me talk to your manager. That's why? It. Yeah, I just think this is above you. Or this is inappropriate, or whatever the hell you're saying. I would just I have know. like somehow try to record it and then get some free tickets, first class tickets somewhere. Eh, that's all I want. The idea that I, as a grown ass man, would have to sit in a court and say my emotional well being was whatever the hell, like never gonna happen. I think this dude just saw Dr. Dow get his ass beat and he got oh, he got yeah. that settlement and now he's trying to. This totally. phone call really really traumatized me to the point where I had to murder my mom. <laughs> Like the the breaking up with a girlfriend makes no sense. Exactly. I think he was trying to break up with her, and he's like, "I'm sorry, I'm just so distressed over this United call. We we can't be together." And she's like, "Oh yeah, if you hurt so much, why don't you sue them?" And he's like, "Oh fuck." I'm gonna right, make I'll millions. Yeah. I'm gonna break up with you, and I'm gonna be a celebrity. Man, I would love to somehow be like harassed by a company so I can sue them. Exactly. That's what this guy did. Yeah. He, he stayed on the phone for all 48 minutes of that shit. When I had issues with United, I was hoping that somebody was gonna swing on me. 
but nothing happened. Yeah. They handled it yeah, very well. Yeah, because... I don't know how this is even possible. Like, this is not embarrassing saying, to him. He was also saying that, like, that whole conversation reminded him of the trauma that he suffered as a child when he was teased because of his name. Oh <laughs> my god! Flashbacks, exactly. I was yeah. never teased. So I wouldn't know what that feels like. You yeah. weren't teased? This of course I was, god damn it. Okay. <laughs> You're the one guy? Yeah, I know, the one guy that was the never teased. Guy? Dude, my yeah. first name is Steven with the PH, and so kids would call me Step Hen. That's not that bad. No, exactly. <laughs> That's my brother's name. But they'll thing. find anything, anything. 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 Kids will find anything to yeah, make like, fun of you. Cause you know like words, you know, they just tried to find like rhyming words. Yeah, yeah cause they didn't know like calling people gay yet and stuff yet. So they're like, like that that that, would, that works pretty good. So yeah. like, oh, Step Hen, like you step on little chickens. <laughs> And then you actually got offended by it, didn't you? Yeah, and I was like, Mom, they said I'm a step I step on chickens. And she's like, are you, like, what? What do you care? That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. Well, Bart said when he was little, uh, that bartender. the kids would call him bartender. He'd be like, I'm not a bartender, but he didn't even- I'm a little kid. boy, I'm not a bartender. I love it. Kids, funny. Just, if you know you're being made fun of, you're taking it very personally. Yeah. 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 That's why you need someone there to be like, fuck off. What's my that? nephews used to pick on my niece by saying, you have a spider on your head. And she's like, no, I don't. Aww. I don't. <laughs> we got in trouble because there was a Mexican boy joined our kindergarten class and he didn't speak English very well. And so we were like, what Spanish do we know? And so a couple of kids knew how to count to six in Spanish. So we were just talking to him and being like, uno, dos, tres, what? cuatro, cinco, seis. But we kept saying that. Oh, we God. Got, we got benched for it because, like, they were oh, you dancing. But he was happy. He was oh, like, like, yeah, yeah. You can't taunt him. It would be, we got benched. Also, the grown-ups twisted it. Uh, yeah, we were like, oh no, no, it's Trace. <laughs> They're like, you girls, sit down. <laughs> they were probably just annoyed of the repetitive, like, counting. Maybe that's things. what it was. Yeah. Yeah. I was just trying to communicate with our fellow students. That guy's like a male hooker now because you guys traumatized him. <laughs> he wasn't even traumatized. You don't know that. He's, he's like counting all. bills. Oh no, no, Trace. That's what he's doing. That is single dollar bills. He didn't learn any more English. Oh. One <laughs> penis, two penis, three penis. <laughs> Everywhere. This sounds like a straight up scam. It doesn't sound real. I know. No self respecting male yeah, would yeah, fucking admit to this shit. I think his girlfriend broke up with him. Yeah. yeah. Like, she heard him, honey, I just got made fun of. And she's like, oh my god, this bitch. Yeah. And he's like, you know, I already have a problem because I'm gender fluid. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like over after that, dude. Forget it. Well, they, they're saying that they tried to contact uh, United for a statement, but they never. Because this, this doesn't exist. That's why. Yeah, and then also, like, it's unclear if the representative still works there or not so all i know is that i hope that this guy gets robbed is there a picture of him no. he should be publicly known agreed as, as, as a savior for all men who's been treated and humiliated i bet the guy called the wrong number and the person is fucking with him and he gave him enough the guy gave him enough information so he, the person just looked it up online yeah, and like <laughs> i think he called a sex hotline thousand dollars says this guy this grown-ass man has blue hair i, I guarantee <laughs> fucking tea what's wrong with blue hair huh on guys okay there's it's a new yes, thing blue right hair now. and it just and a nose ring yeah, yeah exactly 100 percent no, a it. nose ring i'm over yeah. it well, what if you were the rep and you found out like what this fool is tripping over this and then you're getting sued for this? Well, I'm pretty yeah. sure Steve wouldn't ask him, do you fuck your wife with a condom on or something <laughs> like that, but maybe make yeah, fun of him. I probably would actually, that, that's a good question. <laughs> it just depends. Well, I, cause I would like to get to the real. But if, I'm, if I, but if I'm doing this job, it's a little different. Mm. Yeah. Like this yeah. isn't an interview show. It, it also depends on how he got there. Cause like if they're being buddy buddy, right? And like, I, I've never spoken to any uh, customer service rep and got that personal. Yeah, that's why he said like, you know, there was this was beyond any information that was pertaining to the flight. So he was like, why are why is he asking? Why was he even calling? Yeah, like I've never even called United. Can't you do everything online anyways? Yeah. Like, that's what I'm saying. Most people need to just not have that job anymore because obviously it's not working out. AIs have taken over. Yeah. I will say We don't that. need people sitting in a call center getting so bored to the point that they're harassing people now. I see, I don't know, maybe, cause honestly like, oh uh, god, about eight years ago, I called QVC to order some shit. 
What? And we got a little carried away. I have <laughs> never ordered anything. What did you buy from QVC? I was just, I was trying to get, uh, they had these like little key necklaces. I was trying to get one of those key necklaces what? for my mom. Yeah. Like the, the giving keys? Yeah, like the little giving keys. <laughs> and I will say like the lady and me, we got a little carried away in the line. That shit's expensive. That? I would say it got extremely sexual. So what are you gonna do with that key? It depends on where yeah. you want to put it. You no, know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because a key, a key is a very like sexual thing when you think of about it. Of course. Yeah. It's like Innuendo, I got the key to double whatever. Double entendre. You know? <laughs> and then he's like, well, what's the bitch's name? Yeah. We talked. I talked about how I how I'd probably beat it up, and she said like how she probably would like that a lot, and yeah, got a little carried away. It was a little nasty. We had a nasty time. Is yeah. she like a younger woman? Or? Yeah. She's probably sixty. I don't know how old she was. She could have been. Yeah. But her voice sounded. Good. What does QVC oh, yeah. stand for? Good question. Quality yeah. video channel. Nobody knows. Well, yeah, <laughs> I know HSN, Home Shopping oh, Network. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 What the fuck does QVC stand for? Value quality value. Center. Shopping center? Dude, who the hell knows? We Quality value convenience. Yes! Oh, hey, that's, that's pretty cool. Hey, yeah. I like that. Are they still around? Yeah, yeah. they're still Absolutely. around. They're still selling like yeah. diamond necklaces. Are there still old people dying like, alone in their so homes? There's so many Q and V words. Oh, yeah. so sad. Yes, they're still around. Target market. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Housewives and old dead people. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Who old buys those things? No People that don't know how to use the internet to shop. Yeah, because yeah. you could buy exact the same exact things like. Well, online. it's because like the QVC. For three easy payments they, cheaper. Uh, <laughs> they have a what's it called? Uh, for easy. Payments. They have like those like discount shit, so it's like cheaper. Really? Because when I see the prices, I'm like. Dude. I was looking at it. Like a, Amazon. Where do they keep slicing? They keep slicing. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Cheaper. I was looking for uh, this knife sharpener thing. Yeah. And then I saw on the QVC when I was looking at reviews, they were they showed that video, and it was like eighty dollars cheaper on the QVC thing than it was oh. on Amazon. But that was still online. Yeah, I was watching a YouTube video of an old QVC review for oh my it. God. And it was a hundred like eighty dollars cheaper on that than it was on Amazon. I'll never forget the day that my um a delivery man came to the door. He get handed my mom a package. My mom opened it up and it was a silver Hershey's kiss that she had got off QVC. Like, and she's oh like, God. look at it, Steven. It's a silver Hershey's kiss, and you can open it. And it was in that moment that I realized my mom probably should have died already. Oh my God. <laughs> You mean like a, a It's like what is your life? What's left of this? Was it like a paper? A metal silver? It was just like a fucking little thing that sits on a desk or That's something. That's her joy. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like when you live for this, it's like it's it's time to That's why you looked at her, you're like, oh you're old. Yeah, exactly. I was like, oh my god, like your life's probably over right now. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. You know what's happened when you when you raise kids? It's like like you stay at home all day and you like you don't talk to adults at all. Yeah. And you're like, oh no. I just, this is good, right? Is this good? Is it, this is good. Yeah. Steven, I need, I need a Hershey's kiss I can put little desk trinkets in. <laughs> oh my God. That would maybe make this feel whole. Aww. Like and then she good. goes and buys desk trinkets. Yeah. Out the and that's why she has just desk trinkets in her whole fucking house now. <laughs> and she still cries. Aww. All right, love you, Mom. Hope you, hope you don't find this one. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, I've done a lot of these, so hopefully it's in the mix, you know? <laughs> she have to really burn. I specifically send this to your mother. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For more, please subscribe to our channel. And you can check out the last video right here.